Well, hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and today of which is on the Hogwarts Express, the most recent version. So on the front of the box here, see the same border that we've seen for a while, and picture of the set coming into Nafford Station, and then the Wizarding World logo, all the mini things included, and age rec recommendation 8 through 14, set number 75955, and has 801 pieces. As we flip to the back to see how you can access it and some of the features of it and Harry facing the Dementor and yeah. Now onto the manual. So on the front of the manual, same picture as or some of the same picture that's on the front of the box and everything. And it's nice thick form and yeah. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And all the pieces that come with the set, of course. After Lego Life with Harry on it, and after the minifigs throughout the other sets. After the Fantastic Beasts sets and Brickheads, and the like uh, Hogwarts sets, of course. And the last steps. First of which is Harry Potter, of which same version that's also included in the Aragox layer set. Like same torso print and face print, but also still using the short legs as suiting to the two early one early movies. Same so yeah, everything. Everything there, same goes with Ron recently, of course. Of which also the same everything. Also, Ryan's double side face, also used in Hagrid's hut. And next to which is Hermione Granger, of which, which does have an exclusive torso print used for this set, and of which used quite goodly, and a hair piece of which also shown in some of the other sets, and also in the Stranger Things upside down. And have her back torso print, and oh, whoops, also. Double side face also used in the Quidditch match set. And next to which is this Dementor, oh, which really good prints to it and much better than most of the other ver Dementors we've had in the past. And with the Ninjago ghost piece and also the nice tattered cape piece. And some. But also, no back torso print, of course. And, yeah. and next to which is the Trolley Witch. With that, uh, see, with a good use of this hair piece in gray. And it's a nice front torso print, of course. And also. Some all right back torso print, and also a scared double eye face, of course, with a witch exclusive. And next, next to which is Remus Lupin, a witch front torso print, done quite nicely, and not at all need like print to witch, but it's fine. And his face print does well at capturing it. And Holding the newer style of suitcases and also good use of this hair piece and also some all right back torso print and double side face for his werewolf appearance, of course. So for the main builds of which is that you get these two little trolleys of which. Or this one using those like Technic pin holders used for wheels and has the newer mouse rat piece and also a couple other suitcases. And for the other trolley, which 
has a few sand green and gold pieces and also has like a little one by one brick with one of the Nexonites shields or I mean pyramids but in tan of course and also rock piece in dark brown representing a chocolate frog as seen to when they're on the Hogwarts Express in the first one of course. First of which is of what was included in the first Hogwarts set was a little bit of Napkin Station but a much larger form of it. So like this front area which is a large bridge of course. It has two of the like stair pieces that lead right up to it and also some good railing to it which are made of just tiles and the odd one by two bricks and some more of that going on and also the clock using those Exoforce hand pieces as the hands and that's the other part of it, which uses, which has the King's Cross sign and also a translucent mini thing has as a light and also the signs that say uh, station site 9 and 10. Also, interesting thing is, notice how the wall kind of flops a bit. Well, there's a reason for that. As if you remember in the movie, this scene in the movie where Harry and Ron are, and others are riding off to it and they can vanish right through the wall, which brings them to a station nine and three quarters. And get that, and it says Hogwarts Express, of course. And you can see the wanted poster for Sirius Black. And also do get this little newspaper stand that has printed tiles of the Daily Prophet, which is seen in a couple other sets as well, and do have the like cylinder pieces in dark and translucent yellow acting as lights of course. And for the Hogwarts Express is for the main field, the locomotive, of which really good build to it, which almost a bit like the 2010 version kind of did, but like for the front area part, which has use of the dish pieces of course, and also this large one that says Hogwarts Express, and the number of 5972, and also a 10, not sure what that's for, but whatever. And going right down a bit, let's see has those common uh, wheel pieces and do have the like Technic rod as acting as a coupling rod which if you know well about steam trains you would know about that and above it is a like sticker uh, corner piece that says Hogwarts Express and some good use of the sloping to it and also good use of the like rodish piece on rod pieces as uh, safety rods to it, and above have some gold dishes, like acting for both the smell stack and bell. And then from the back part of it, good use of the like the grill pieces there, and also the the main cabinet, which has a couple of printed pieces used for dials and a couple of flames, so the engineer can like throw some coal into it and get it rolling, obviously. But as for the back bottom part, I have two pivoting pieces for the like front wheels, of course, so it can take turns on tracks good. And also on the front part, you can lower this part down and makes it stay solid if you're like displaying it on a shelf or something. And also got the lights there, of course. Next to which is the coal car or tender, actually. You can see some more of those like uh, uh, rail car train wheel pieces with the metal rods, of course. Probably the only times they use uh, metal rods in sets. It also does have those like otter panel pieces, but with a large sticker saying Hogwarts Railways, obviously. And also, with this set uses these 
like technic beams to hold it together. Although it could have worked with some like with the old style magnet pieces like the other versions, but this kind of way does work too. Got plenty of the like like hinge rods above acting as railing. On the top one you can clip on open and a lot of open space in it. Probably so you can put a like battery box in and act as a motor if you're trying to motorize it. So this you can attach to that and make the front engine section, of course. And then to the main passenger part, which you only get one version of, which little idea for set is a, a set that is of two passenger cars, and the more you buy, the more you can extend this train. Since there's probably like five to six total cars in all the movies. And yeah. Although, as for this one, it has all just one by or by one bricks, and one of which has the like Hogwarts symbol to it, and also the bomb pal part, which has the same wheel pieces as the tender, of course. And also a couple of dish pieces acting as bumpers, of course. It has the top roof with a lot of the like curved slopes and also uh, gray uh, studs acting as uh, something. Whereas one side, which gets quite exciting. Actually, it's this side where you can pull it right off since it's on a few jumper pieces. You have enough space to fit your mini figs into it. And those are one that you can fit this trolley into. So enough space to fit four mini figs, actually. Although I would have wished that they can just can just like fit four at its at all at once. But at least this one kind of does work for that. Just let me get all of these on. So it's just four mini figs that you can fit on this. And only you can kind of fit uh, the trolley witch onto as well. But also on the windows you can uh, fold up and down, although in the films they can like go up and down. But this kind of way does work out well too. And I, I can see a, also a few jumpers on there. You can attach it on as well. And this open spot of it where you can uh, peg the other one too and it can roll right up, of course. So now, let me get it all together and what I call the verdict. Although not much space, no space to put the Dementor on it. Although you can add it to your Dementor army, of course. So now, on to the verdict is overall. This, I think, probably one of the, the most bestest versions of the Hogwarts Express in a while. Since, of course, it still does include the tender, but also most of Nanford Station, of course. And also with the, like, flip-open wall feature, of course, well-suiting to the seams. And, yeah. and also do get a few exclusive minifigs, which kind of makes it well worth it and all. Even though this may not be motorized, but, oh well. Mockers can figure that part out, and yeah. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection of LEGO trains, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you are looking to get this for your Harry Potter collection, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.